Well, if you saw the thumbnail and you clicked on this video for that thumbnail, then you know exactly what this video is about. Hello, welcome to my channel, Sailor Guardians. I went to Japan back in October. I came home with an entire suitcase full of Sailor Moon items. So today I'm going to unbox that for you finally, and share what I got from Japan. Many of the items in this collection are pretty hard to find or are somewhat rare. So anytime I can find these items while I'm in Japan, when I'm traveling over there, then I definitely want to pick them up. Now, even though I paid for a flight to get over there, it tends to be much cheaper to purchase items there in yen than it is to try to get them off of a reseller here in the United States or pay for international shipping. So I have a lot to show you today. Let's go ahead and get started with this pile of manga. Now, I believe this is the last collection of manga that I needed to get in order to have every single edition from Japan as well as America, all the way from the 1990s up to now. So I actually found these on the Mandrake website. These were listed as an item that was available. So I went in the store in Nakano Broadway to be able to find these. These must have been owned by a collector because these are the first edition of the original Japanese manga from the 1990s, and they are in such good condition for being as old as they are. Not all of them have the obi, the little piece of paper that wraps around the manga, but many of them do, and all of them have the original color sleeves on the outside of the manga. You can tell that they weren't red, weren't open very much, if at all, because the binding is still very much intact and doesn't look very worn. There is a little bit of wear and tear around the corners, but not too bad, honestly, given that they are so old. So something that I wanted to show you and why I really, really wanted to get the first editions of these is because I don't think the first and second had these, but starting on the third manga, we have these posters. These are little fold out posters that come in every single one of these first edition manga in Japan. And these have pretty rare art on them. So I love being able to own these in my collection. And it honestly looks like they were maybe looked at once like they're, they're in such good condition. So I'm really happy that I was able to get this. Each of them has the poster on the inside of them. So I would love to do a separate video all about manga now that I have all the Japanese ones as well as all the American editions and re-releases so that I can show you the differences and kind of give you an explanation of how they compare to each other and how to find the best versions. Let me know if that is something that you would be interested in. Oh, that's a pretty poster. Yeah, let me know if that's something you would be interested in. I would love to do a whole manga roundup and comparison now that I have all these. One of the things I've been focusing on more now that I've kind of caught up with my newer age Sailor Moon collection is vintage items, as well as items that you can get out of a crane game in Japan. So anytime I see really inexpensive items available for sale in good condition that were previously owned, then I do pick those up. So I got these miniaturely tablets. All of them are in great condition, unopened, very, very cute. All three of these are from the miniaturely tablet Sailor Moon series five. There's a whole bunch of these. These two were, I believe these were available in a crane game. I wanted to grab them because I found them for a really inexpensive price. Two very cute little plushies. These are from Sailor Moon Cosmos. So they are pretty new and both of them come with these stickers on the back of the logo tags, the little hang tags. Somehow I had managed to never collect this little petite Kara character, petite Chara character of Sailor Moon. I have the white haired version that looks very similar to this, which I believe came out at the museum or the exhibition many years ago. But this one is the blonde version. Now there is another blonde Princess Serenity petite Chara, but her hands are in a different gesture. So I wanted to get this one where her hands are clasped together and it also comes with this cute little moon stick. So I picked her up, she's brand new. I'll have to open her and put her in my collection. I've also been collecting these little Atsumete characters. Uh, these are girls' memories figures that came out uh, throughout the past few years. They look really good for such teeny tiny little characters. And I believe these are the last three that I needed to add to my collection in order to have all of them. So now that I found these three while I was in Japan, I officially have all of them. So I'm pretty excited about that. It's nice to be able to finish one of the lines, one of the collections so that I don't have to uh, keep searching for them. <laughs> I don't know why, but this one is insanely expensive on 
places like eBay and Mercari if you can find a legitimate one. I was really happy that I found her in Japan. I think she was like 1500 yen. It was a pretty great price for such a cute little character. I have gone down the collecting rabbit hole, y'all, and I have started collecting dolls. I know I shouldn't. I know I said I wouldn't, but these are really cute. These are very, very cute. I really like the style of these. Uh, these little miniature dolls are from the Sailor Moon World release, which happened in the early 2010s, late 2000s. Uh, there's several of them in the entire collection, I believe. I think I'm going to keep these in the box, but in this collection, this series right here, we have Pluto, Uranus, and Neptune. And then I also got this one, which includes this change of clothes. She's adorable, the Sailor Venus. Uh, this one includes all the inner Sailor Guardians, and then they also come with their school uniforms. Really, really cute. These are fairly easy to find at Mandrake and other used anime stores in Japan. A lot of people, I think, resold them. However, they're pretty expensive. Uh, I was able to find these two for a decent price compared to some of the other ones, and it might just be because they're more common, but some of them are very, very pricey, like up into the hundreds, which I think is kind of crazy given that this one was 1300 yen and this one cost 1680. So keep that in mind whenever you're going shopping for classic dolls, vintage dolls. I've also started my collection of vintage Sailor Moon compacts and wands. So this one I was able to find for a decent price as well at a Mandrake store. Uh, I used Google Translate to ask the employees if these devices were working and they were able to confirm that they work with new batteries installed. Uh, they don't have batteries in them right now, but one of these days I'll probably open it since it's already been opened and test it out so that I can make sure that they work, but they did tell me that they worked, so I was happy about that. And this box is in fairly good condition. The front window has not been altered. It doesn't look dirty or stained or cracked or anything. There's some scuffing around the edges, but that's not too bad for a vintage item, so it looks pretty good. I also picked up the moon stick, so I believe this is the first edition. Be careful when you're trying to find one of these. I did a lot of research. A lot of them don't come with the little gemstones, like you'll find these two little windows empty, these little holes in the display. So keep an eye out for that and try to find one that has like a nice box. This box does have some damage around the edges as well, but it is in fairly good condition and there's not a lot of scuffing like on the moon stick itself. So I've been doing a lot of research and studying to learn how to find like proper wands and compacts from the 1990s and on. Another item I've been investing more in is trying to find really good condition boxes, like new boxes or fairly new quality boxes that have the games in them. So here we have a Super Famicom Sailor Moon game that I haven't collected yet. So I'm intending to buy a older console so that I can play all of these and be able to check them out. Maybe I'll do some like live streams of playing them. So I got this Super Famicom one. I also got Sailor Moon Another Story, which is a very popular one. This is also Super Famicom. And this one's brand new and it came with the card. Some of these do come with collectible cards, so I was really happy to find that. And given the exchange rate, like that's not too bad for a game that's, okay, it's not new, but it's in pretty good condition. It does say B, C, and C for like the casing, the game cartridge itself, etc. But honestly, like Japan seems to judge their used products pretty harshly. Like this looks great. So <laughs> I don't think it's a B, a C, a C. I also picked up this Game Boy one. My friend has a Game Boy, so I'm able to play old Game Boy games. And this is a Sailor Moon R game. So I'm looking forward to checking that one out as well. So my intention is to get all of the classic games with their boxes and original like guidebooks and cards if I can find the trading cards with them. I would like to have a full collection, like a full library of all the Sailor Moon games. I think so far, I have eight of the different Sailor Moon games. There's quite a few, so these are my newest three. Somehow I managed to like never collect this item, but this is the Rainbow Moon Chalice. And this one I believe is a little clip case. Yes, it's the antique style clip case. This is very, very heavy. Uh, this came out many years ago. 
but it comes with all these cute little paper clips inside of it. And it has this interior design that's very shiny, very sparkly with this pearlized paint up at the top. I just thought it's very beautiful. I do have, of course, the Proplica and a few other versions of the Rainbow Moon Chalice, but I wanted to get this one because, well, quite frankly, I just didn't have it yet. So I found it for a great price. It looks brand new. So I decided to go ahead and pick it up now since I didn't have it yet. It's definitely heavy, but this is a really beautiful piece that you can add to your like supers collection, I would recommend. And then I got a bunch of stuff from the Sailor Moon store. Now this is not everything that I got from the Sailor Moon store, but this is like what I could grab in a handful. This is a brand new shirt that they were selling at the Sailor Moon store for the sixth anniversary. It's not the best print quality, and this is a fairly large shirt on me. I did get a large in this shirt, and it's very heavy cotton. It's very, very soft. So honestly, I can probably use this as a sleep shirt because it's so comfortable. And it's nice and thick too, so you won't get cold when you're wearing it. I really like it. It's like, it feels heavy duty, which is great because it's kind of expensive. Uh, this is the kind of print quality that will tear, so it's something that I'm gonna be careful with. These clips came out with a Sailor Moon store collection that featured Sailor Moon Cosmos edition items. There's also an inner Sailor Guardian version, but I really wanted Pluto and Saturn. There's a couple of my favorites. So I got the outers. For Sailor Moon Cosmos, we also have these really cute stamps. So this is one of the stamps that I decided to purchase at the Sailor Moon store. They had all of them in stock when I was there but I do believe these are pretty popular, so I don't know if they're still in stock now. These necklaces were also introduced at the Sailor Moon store. Fairly inexpensive, really, really good prices for these. So that probably tells me that they're not gonna be like real gold and heavy duty silver, but they're so sparkly. So of course I got my favorite Outer Guardians. We got Pluto's Talisman as well as Saturn's Glaive. And then I got the Ginzui Shio. At least I think that's supposed to be the Ginzui Shio, this legendary silver crystal. So I thought these were really pretty. They had one for each of the Sailor Guardians. So if you wanted to, you could collect all of them. I have two of these here because I am using one and I am saving the other. So this is the brand new store original fragrance for Black Lady. I'm pretty impressed with it. I thought that it smelled really, really yummy and it is not overpowering. I was a little worried that it would be. I'll put the fragrance notes uh, down below so you can read those yourself. The reason why I purchased this in Japan is because fragrances, perfumes, are you can't ship those overseas legally via air because they're considered hazmat. So I was able to take these home in checked bags on an airplane myself, but you have to check them and you have to claim them at customs. So trying to find these perfumes while you live in America, if they're from Japan, is extremely hard, uh, which is why I decided to go ahead and stop up while I was in Japan and they were available at the store. There was a limit to three per person and I ended up buying extras for all of my Sailor Moon folks on the internet too who live in America. So I had my husband and my best friend and my best friend's husband helped me buy them so I was able to get everybody what they wanted. This Sailor Moon store keychain is a freebie that you get for spending x amount of money at the sailor moon store you have to get a point card and then you get one of these for free this stained glass version keychain sold out online like instantly but they had them in stock at the store you could only purchase one per person per visit so i ended up getting myself one thought it was very very pretty this is a little card case that i picked up with sailor pluto on the front of it this is from the sanrio collaboration these were available at the Sailor Moon store, however, very, very popular, so they sold out pretty quickly. And this is a folding mirror. Hi! <laughs> this folding mirror also came out during the sixth anniversary. The mirror was not as popular, so pretty easy to grab one of these. I find them to be extremely useful, like if I wanna put one on my computer desk. These are so special. Not only is Healer my favorite Sailor Star Guardian, but I also love these earrings because my husband purchased these for me. He secretly went to the Sailor Moon store without my knowledge and purchased these while I wasn't looking. And I don't know how he knew to get the healer colors, but he did, and I'm so impressed. So I was very happy with these. Luckily they are pierced and I have pierced ears. So I'm really excited to be able to wear these. I think they're super beautiful. And luckily they aren't super expensive from the Sailor Moon store, but these are such a cute little piece to have from the Sailor Moon Cosmos line. Way to go, Mr. Sailor Snubs. He did such a good job. The Sailor Moon store usually has some really pretty 
hand towels because the bathrooms in Japan tend to not have any kind of paper towels. So you carry your own hand towel to dry your hands when you're traveling around Japan. This one with Sailor Saturn on it is just beautiful. I love that we have the little fuku down here. It's so cute. And then we have this gorgeous image of Sailor Saturn as well as her glaive. And purple's my favorite color. A couple more hand towels that I wanted to grab from the Sailor Moon store. Uh, one featuring the inner guardians and one featuring the outer guardians. These are from Gashapons, which were available at the Tokyo Sailor Moon store. So these Gashapons are little cord holders. I got many of the Guardians. Uh, here we have Jupiter and Venus. They're so cute. I love that they hold the little cords in their hands. I also got Uranus, Pluto. Uh, my friend ended up grabbing Pluto for me. I was super excited about that. And she got me Saturn. Yay, my favorite girls. I also got this beautiful silver haired Princess Serenity. So I was really happy that I got a variety. One thing I was dying to get while I was there was the glitter and glamours of Pluto and Saturn. Saturn had just come out in the Crane Games while I was there. Uh, we were lucky enough to have somebody grab that for us out of a Crane Game. Um, hilarious story. So if you wanna hear that whole story, check out my Instagram where I posted a picture of her. And then I also found Sailor Pluto. She was available in one of the reseller stores. So I picked her up without having to play the crane game. Very excited about that and pretty inexpensive straight from Japan too. This glitter and glamours line is some of my faves. I fully intend to get like a Q posket, an extra Q posket, so I can have her staff and her glaive and be able to put those in their hands. You've seen these on my channel before, but these are the Sailor Moon Rose bath salts, which are available at the Sailor Moon store. I won't go into detail with these since you've already seen them and I've already given you a little bit of a review of those. Another Gashapon I was very excited about was this series of little keychains. These are from the Sanrio collaboration. These are the first keychains, but we do have outer Sailor Guardians that just released in December as well. So here we have Chibi Chibi, Sailor Mars, she's so cute, Sailor Jupiter, Sailor Venus, Sailor Mercury. She was the hardest one for me to get. I don't know why, but Sailor Mercury was very hard to get. And Sailor Moon. I won't tell you how many times I played this same gachapon machine in order to get all six of these guardians with their cute little Sanrio characters, but it was a lot. It was a lot. I picked up this beautiful trading card from Mandrake. Love Sailor Saturn, and this prism one is really beautiful. This keychain is also from the Sanrio collab. This was available at the Sailor Moon store. Bunch of random items. This was a freebie from the Sailor Moon store. I believe since I'm a part of the Sailor Moon fan club, maybe? They asked me if I was a part of the fan club, and then I got a couple of bonus items, this and the keychain that I showed you previously. So I'm pretty sure this was a freebie for the fan club. Uh, my friend gave me his copy of the newsletter because he doesn't collect it, but he's a member. So thank you to my friend for giving me your newsletter. So excited. And these are all a bunch of stickers that I picked up as well. We have the Outer Guardians from the Sanrio collab. So, so cute. I also got Uranus and Neptune as these jumbo stickers. Venus and Jupiter, Setsuna, and Hotaru. Very, very cute. This Sailor Moon store sticker was also available for the sixth anniversary. Got a couple of those and these two very pretty stickers of a couple of my favorite characters, Mars and Pluto. A hair barrette, of course. This is Neo Queen Serenity's crown. Very pretty barrette. And this acrylic, I was so happy to see it in stock at the Sailor Moon store because this sold out on the internet so, so fast. I was very sad that I wasn't able to get it online, but when I saw it in the store, I was like, sweet. I was finally able to get my cute little acrylic stand of Princess Serenity and Princess Small Lady Serenity with their wings. Another acrylic stand of the Inner Guardians on this really beautiful like ombre rainbow colored stand. This really pretty colored drawstring bag came out from the music festival series, uh, which was this music festival that happened, um, I wanna say a couple years ago, a few years ago. So I like the drawstring bag. I thought it was pretty, figured I could use it for something here in my collection room. This tote bag does not have anything on the interior. However, it is lined, which I, I appreciated given how pricey it was but I love this six anniversary tote bag that was also available at the store. 
This does say Sailor Moon Store on the back of it. I love how bright pink it is. It is very, very bright pink. Might come off as a little purple on the video, but it's, it's a bright pink. And the print quality on here is very, very well done. So it's not really canvas, but it's pretty close, but it's a nice, thick, really pretty tote bag. So I love it. I think I'm gonna use this for shopping quite often. There is a tag on it as well with the really pretty six anniversary art. Sometimes I grab up some of these cute little vintage items from Mandrake if I have some extra coins left over. So I found this for 500 yen. That's like a little less than five bucks. This is a really cute vintage article. This is a ticket holder, or in my case, I use this for receipts when I'm traveling, especially if I have to expense those to a business. I'll put all of my receipts in here and sort them. That was an idea that I stole from my best friend. She told me that she does that, and I was like, that's smart. I'm gonna start doing that. So this is a ticket holder, but yeah, receipt holder for me. Another vintage item, I believe this is like a gift bag from Mandrake. Here we have a really cute Happy New Year postcard featuring the inner guardians with these cute little Neko ears. That was from a collaboration. This sticker sheet is just gorgeous. So had to have it. Love Sailor Moon Cosmos stickers. I put these all over the place, especially on computers. So <laughs> had to have them. I also got the Outer Guardians as well. Of course, I do love picking up clear files and clear posters. Some of my favorite items to collect are clear file items. This is a clear poster, but it's about the same size as a clear file. Very, very pretty. These are pencil boards, I want to say, or jumbo cards. This one of Sailor Saturn is beautiful. This has been on my list for quite some time, so grab that one. And I love this art from the 1990s. This is one of my favorite art styles when they are in like casual outfits. It's so cute. So wanted to pick this one up as well. I got some more clear files. These are from the Sanrio collab, of course. So, so cute. I think we're on the last item from my haul from Japan. And I'm very excited to show you this. Uh, this was something that I just had to get. As soon as I saw it, I was like, I must have this. So y'all remember from my last Sailor Moon haul when I found this beautiful cell, animation cell of Sailor Saturn. So this time I opted to go for one of Sailor Moon. Now this is in a cell, I believe it's called a Doga, Doga. Uh, I ended up, I wanted to get a few different pieces of original drawn art of Sailor Moon, and I didn't want to go for just anything. I wanted to get like specific pieces. So I ended up getting three different pieces that were drawn in the 1990s. These were for the original Sailor Moon anime, and they are used in the animation. So this one is a piece of art that features Sailor Moon, of course, with her Ginzu Isho. This is absolutely beautiful. I want to say this is from the Sailor Moon R movie with her ribbons coming out from her compact as it's placed on her chest. It's a, just a beautiful, beautiful piece. I also found this one was very inexpensive. I was really happy about this one. Uh, this one of Sailor Pluto is just gorgeous. I love the shading that goes into this one. It's really beautiful. That piece of art is so cool to own. And lastly is this one of Sailor Mars doing her Akuyo Taisan attack. Really stunning piece. I just love, I love these pieces of some of my favorite Sailor Guardians and I'm so happy to own a piece of history. These are one of a kind and they are absolutely gorgeous. So usually I do go for full color cells with backgrounds, but the ones I wanted to get were really, really pricey. So I got these instead and I saved money. <laughs> oh yeah, I have one more item to show you. Oh my gosh, I have to show you these. <laughs> Sailor Moon cookies. These are Sailor Moon chocolate cookies. Had to purchase them and now we have to try them. I am going to open these because I want to know how they taste. But this was a collaboration with Sailor Moon. They had several, several different cookie types that you could purchase. Uh, you can also find these here in the United States via mail order. We're gonna open them and try one. These are the Black Moon Chocolate Cookies. I wanted to try these specifically because they have the Outer Guardians on the uh, outer, on the outside of the box. Other than just like the logo in the box itself, there's not much going on into this collab, but here's the cookie. This is with Morang Morananga, Morinaga. We're gonna try it. 
Luckily, I don't think these are expired yet. Please tell me these are not expired yet. Oh good, we're in luck. They are not expired yet. Ooh, it smells good. It smells like chocolate. These look like little whoopee cookies. Is that what they're called? Mmm. That's pretty good. They're kind of dry. Which I was expecting because this is, these are packaged items, they're not fresh. Do I have any food in my teeth? I will say these, okay, so even though they're dry, since they're not like right out of the oven, obviously, they do taste better than the super dry cookies that you get from the Sailor Moon Museum. <laughs> so they do taste better. Um, I, I wanted to get this one because it has that like whipped chocolate cream on the inside of the cookie. And I'm a big chocolate person. I love chocolate. Anytime I can get chocolate, I'll be happy to eat it. So yeah, it's not bad. I'll definitely like finish this box off. Not all at once, or maybe it will finish it all at once. I don't know. It depends on how hungry I am this evening, <laughs> but they're pretty good. <laughs> Is that everything out of my giant suitcase? Okay. That's not bad. I am very happy with everything that I found. I'm like holding this half eaten cookie in my hand. I don't want to put it down and like risk getting cookie stuff all over my collection room. I don't want ants. We can't have ants. I've been very happy with everything that I purchased from Japan. It was awesome to be able to go there in person and be able to shop around and find these items. A lot of times when you're shopping around Akihabara or Nakano Broadway or wherever you're going, it kind of feels like a treasure hunt to be able to get all of these items from Sailor Moon. And when you find something that's in like good condition, doesn't cost too much, it just feels so exciting when you're able to find these. When I go to the Sailor Moon store and they still have stock of items that have sold out online long time ago, I get so, so excited. And I'm able to use my point card at the Sailor Moon store and get little bonus items, which is always exciting too. So if you have never been to Japan or if you're planning to go over there and you're wondering about where to find all of these items, I have a post on my Instagram page, it's at Sailor Snubs, in order to help you find all of these different items and add them to your own collection. I also have several educational tutorials about like how to spot bootlegs and where to find different stores in Japan. So definitely check out those videos. I'll link to any related content down below as well. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for subscribing and I'll see you next time. Janai!